Jen Eskinov. This is Local 3 News at 6. Good evening and welcome back to Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bartlemy. Each February, we pause to honor black history, to celebrate black culture, and shine a light on people who are making a positive impact today. Local 3's Ben Raymond shares the story of one man who demonstrates the power of being seen. It's truly an honor to stand before you today as a representative of this phenomenal class of Michigan Technological University graduates. In 2018, Jalen Boone delivered the commencement address at Michigan Tech, where he was seen by hundreds of people. There was a time where I didn't even know if this was possible, meaning college, college football. There was a time at which I was driving up in the snow, in a winter storm from Flint, in a, a little old Malibu with my mom with no guarantees. There was a time where I was weighing in at 143 pounds. I didn't even make it to the height chart because it started at five, six. Like there was a time where I didn't even know if this was possible. And I fast forward four short years, getting a college degree, an academic standout, outstanding man in business, whatever that means to, to, to this university three-year starter, football leader, and now I'm reading my bio, standing up on the same stage as a, as, a, as a senator, standing up on the same stage as the university president and distinguished guests and members and faculty. Um, and these people have to sit quiet and listen to me for 13 minutes, tell my story. It was surreal and it didn't really hit me until that moment. Boone, a finance major, was also seen and supported in the classroom. But it all started with Dr. Newton, who, who believed in me, put a bid in for Outstanding Man in Business. And I was up against some, some very significant people who, you know, I felt were well equipped to win. But once again, kind of favor um, uh, of God was on my life and in favor of the, the board. And I, I went in and I did what I could. And I put my resume up against everybody else's. And I can, I can speak a little bit. Uh, so I think that helped. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I became that. Um, and I, but I think it all comes down, once again, to somebody seeing you. And then people sort of kind of jump on the wagon as at, or jump on the train as it gains momentum. But it's those who start the momentum of the train who you remember. Four years earlier, when the opportunity for an athletic career at Michigan State fell away, there was just one person who noticed Boone. Coach Eric Yider being at that same place at that same time, he looked at me and said, you may not pass their eye test, but you pass my heart test. It wasn't about your stature that attracted me, but it was about your spirit that attracted me. Every time you were on the field, you played like you had something to play for. Every time you ran a sprint, you ran it at 110%. Every time you did a drill, you did it with precision. And it's not your size that is gonna bring you success, but it's that focus and that attention to detail. It's that drive, it's that grit. And so I want you to come to Michigan Tech. Um, and that was probably one of the biggest moments of my life. Following the death of George Floyd, athletic director Dr. San Riguet invited Boone to speak to the football team and provide perspective about what was going on at the time. You don't have to pretend to know, but the genuine heart desire to say, I know that I don't look like you, my background isn't like yours, my experiences aren't yours, and that doesn't invalidate mine. Because hear me, as a, a female, She's also been a minority and as a female, as an athletic director, she's had her own experiences with being an underrepresented minority. So her acknowledging the challenges of my community and my people does not all of a sudden invalidate the challenges that she's had. It actually gives us common ground to connect on and say, I know what it feels like to be ostracized. I know what it feels like to not pass someone's eye test. And so because of that, I want to understand with more clarity what it is that you need in order to feel seen and supported. Five years after graduation, Boone continues to contribute to the campus community. Legacy is you've been invited with the privilege uh, you've been invited to help advance life 
for underrepresented minorities at Michigan Tech. Will you take it simply as a title and a LinkedIn post? Or will you actually put system standards in place that will last for generations to come that will actually open the door for and create an inclusive environment for those who may not feel seen like you felt seen? As Boone looks ahead to his next 40 years, what he wants to be seen as now is a man of faith. I decided that I want to get to a space where whatever room I walk in, whether it's a room full of atheists, which I respect, whether it's a room full of agnostics, which I respect, whether it's a room full of Buddhists, uh, uh, of Muslims, like it's not about me judging the way you believe, but it's about me being committed and convicted in the way that I believe. Right. So that's just just a little bit about how I don't want I don't want you to think that it's perfect and I do it every day, but I am doing it more and more. And I think progress is the key. Now a husband and father, Boone has a new vision of success. My goal in life is for my daughter to be able to breathe deep. <sighs> to be authentically her wherever she goes. I want her to know that before she was a child of mine, she's a child of God's. Before she's a Black woman, she's a kingdom citizen. And no matter how somebody else identifies her, she can always go back and look at her passport and know where she's from. And when you know where you're from, you have a different level of pride. When you know where you're from, nobody can tell you what your worth is because they don't know your origin story. They only know where you were when they met you. And so I just, I want her to know what life is like to live from within herself, to not be derailed and distracted by people's opinions or life's challenges. Like, I want her what it, I want her to know what it's like to live a full life. In Houghton, Ben Raymond, Local 3 News.